Hey, what's happening guys? Thank you so much for checking out this how-to video on FCP Titles 400, where we're gonna give you a quick rundown of how the project works inside of Final Cut Pro. Now, this project was launched around a year ago with 250 titles, and we've already updated it with 150 in the last year. And uh, we look forward to releasing a whole lot more titles in the coming months that you'll be getting with free updates, and you'll be notified of those updates via email. So let's jump into it. And what I want to do for you is to show you a couple of examples. We're going to do three examples here. Um, so we'll go down and you can see already that these titles are categorized. As you can see, there's number two for kinetic titles. The next is corporate titles. And that's where we're going to be doing our first title, number 367. Now the first thing you're going to notice is the published parameters that pop up on the top right of your screen. That's where we're going to be making all of our title changes. But first, let's take a look through this title by pressing spacebar. Alright, so first thing is the build in and build out. And what those pertain to is the animations that happen at the start and at the end of your title. So you'll see on the left here, that's where the animation will start in and the animation will end out here. If you don't want the animation out, that's simple enough. You just click build out and it will remain static towards the end of the title. But we don't want that. So we're just going to put it on and you'll notice that it starts to animate out over there. So let's say you want it on screen for a bit longer. You just stretch it out and you'll see above there. It'll tell you how much longer it's going to be. So that is going to be a 10 second title on your screen. Next, and most of these are pretty straightforward, but we'll run through it regardless. We've got the options to change the position of the title as well as to change the scale. So let's say if you wanted to be on the top right of your screen, you would just adjust the scale and then change the position of the X and Y. Now we've got the line width. So let's actually center it out back to zero. Now we are going to put a little bit longer text in here so we can show you how the line width changes everything. So instead of saying subscribe below, we're going to say check out our Facebook. Now our title is too long for the line, so when it animates in, it's going to animate out of nothing, which is not what we want. So easy enough, we can just change the line width and that fixes everything that we need to. You can also change the color of the element. So you've got red here for the arrows as well as the lines and then the white below is for the text. So we're going to change that to a blue. Like make it a bit of a navy darkish blue. And then what we can also do is to change our font and we're going to be using a unique font. Let's use this so we can also show how um, to realign the, the text because yeah, as you can see now the text is a bit higher and we want it to be more central. So we can just change the anchor point of the text right over there. And uh, yeah, and that puts it straight into line. You can also change, as I mentioned, the color of the font. And we're going to just make that a, a lightish blue to go with our dark blue. So just like that, we have our first title in a matter of seconds. In fact, what I might want to do as well is just to shrink that line width a bit as the title is a bit bigger. And we can just move the anchor to the right of it, just as it's realigning there. Okay, so let's move along. Let's go into one of the logos. And for that, we're going to check out 214. Now, this is quite useful as well. If you've come across a title that you've used already and you like, you can actually just search for it over here. And as you can see, 214 is a logo title. So on the bottom right there, you can see the drop zone, which will allow you to import your logo. So let's bring it in here. I'm going to get rid of this first one and let's play it back. So simple enough, title comes in on the top left of the block and then we've got a logo position on the bottom right. What I'm gonna do now is to go file import media and to find my logos. So what I'm gonna do right over here, click on import. I think I've actually already imported it, but just to show you how simple it is. So I'm gonna click on the title and the drop zone over here, if I click on that, I'll have the option to click on my media. So I'm gonna select this logo and then click apply clip. And just like that, it's straight in there. As you can see here, you have options for your logos. You can change the scale and then also change the position of your logo. So let's change the text to something else. Let's say check back at our U. And as you can see there, the box automatically, or the rather the text automatically adjusts. And I might say that this text is a bit too light here. So I'm going to change the font to a bolder version of that. So it pops out a little bit more. Again, you have options to change your colors. So let's make this a purple. 
That looks quite cool. And the second color over here, which we're going to make a bit of a gray. And again, we can have that title on the screen longer. We just have to stretch out the title in the timeline. So now when we play that back, we've got our logo and we've got our bulkier text in there with a new message for us. So one last title I want to share with you is number 378. And this is quite useful if you've got, or if you're doing social media, if you're doing content media, uh, even if you're doing Instagram. Uh, let's say, if, for example, you want to share a message and we have the four boxes here. So four boxes representing each line. And what's cool about this title, you'll see here, is as quickly as I take the title off the screen, the boxes readjust. So let's say, for example, we want to write in So as you can see, we've got three lines of text. We don't actually need this last line of text. So all we have to do is select all of it, just backspace, and it's already gone. I also want to change the rectangle color. So all I have to do is just go in here and select the new one. So we're going to choose something a little bit brighter than that. Uh, let's go with this purple over here. And let's say that we wanted it to come on the bottom of the screen because we have visuals above there. So we'll scale it down a little bit, move it down, and then move it to the left. And then what I'm also going to do is to bring in a picture. So that would represent what we have on screen. So I've got my image here. I'm just going to drag it below the title and have that on screen for the duration. Now, as you can see that it's a little bit small, so I'm just going to scale that up. And now I've got my title on screen as well. Thanks for your time guys. We hope that this video demonstrates how simple and easy it is to add value with the titles to your project. And you can look forward to the updates in the coming months where we'll be adding more titles. Also be sure to check back on this YouTube channel. We'll be adding a whole lot of tutorials as well as tips and tricks for Motion and Final Cut Pro. And if you have any questions, hit us up in the comments below and we'll get back to them as soon as possible. All the best guys, enjoy the titles.